Hi everyone, welcome to class. I'm Melody from Cirque du Soleil and I'll be guiding. Today's practice is all about the hips. We'll sink down into the stretches to release any tension that we could be holding on in this area. This can alleviate pain in the low back and improve our range of motion. We'll start laying down on our backs in a reclined butterfly. So bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall open to the side. And bring your forehead on the mat. So right away here, I invite you to close your eyes and bring your awareness to your breath. Feeling the air coming in through your nostrils and out your mouth. Taking again a deep breath through your nose. Out your mouth, exhale. Side release. Now see if you can send your awareness to your hips. And just as an image, imagine that you can send your breath into your hips. If you want, you can bring your hands on your low belly here. And with every exhale, see if you can release, let your knees fall open to the side just a little bit more. Starting to connect with your breath, hearing your breath. Creating like a wind sound or an ocean sound with your exhales. And start to constrict the back of your throat. As if you were fogging a window as you exhale. Keeping your mouth close, your lips sealed together. Bringing your hands on your thighs, slowly close your legs together. Bring your knees in towards your chest. On your next inhale, hold on to your right leg. As you exhale, extend the left. Coming in wind, relieving pose. Inhale, fill your belly with air. As you exhale, pull on your right leg. Shoulders stays relaxed on the mat. Inhale to deep belly breath. Exhale, pull. Right heel to the ceiling, extend your right leg. And see if you can scissor your hips here. So lower the right hip in line with the left. You can keep your knee slightly bent. Just think of lowering your right hip. Pressing your right leg into your hands. And release to the opposite now. Start to slowly pull your right leg closer. Again, you can keep your knee bent. You can hold on your um, calf and make circles with your ankle here. Slowly bring your hands behind your head. Hover the left leg off the mat, waking up the core here. Breathe in. And as you exhale, lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale, chin to the ceiling. Lower, inhale. Lift, elbows stay wide. Two more, inhale. Inhale. Last one, lift. Release, bend the right leg, grab the outer edge of your right foot. Coming in a half happy baby here. Pull on your leg. Making sure the left leg stays active. So you can bring your, your left hand on your left hip and think of pressing your left leg down as you pull on the right leg. So starting to um, externally rotate the right leg here, opening the hip. Imagine you want to bring your right knee to the floor. 
bring your right ankle to your left thigh, bend the left leg, thread the needle, pull your left leg closer. Just keeping the toes of your right foot in flexion here to protect your kneecap. And you can slowly shift the weight of your body towards your left hip. Shoulders stays relaxed. And release, come back, knees together. Hold on to your left leg. Exhale, extend the right. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, pull on your leg. One more time. Exhale, pull. Left heel to the sky. Lower your left hip. Scissor your hips. So really actively pressing your leg into your hands. And release opposite, pull on your leg. Bring your hand on your thigh, calf, or toes. You can make circles with your ankle. Hands behind your head. Hover the right leg off. Breathe in. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. Strong core, exhale. Inhale, lower. Lift. Two more. Creating some heat. The last one. And release. Bend the left leg. Half happy baby, other side. Again, imagine that you're breathing into your hips. Right leg is active. Think of bringing your left knee to the floor. Left ankle, right thigh, thread the needle. Pull on your left, right leg as you exhale. Option to slowly shift your weight on your right hip. Center, knees together, grab the back of your thighs, engage your core, start to rock back and forth. And coming to cross your legs, hands on your mat, meeting into a tabletop here. A few rounds of cat cow. So as you inhale, drop your belly, arch. Exhale to round. But see today if you can so slightly play with it. So coming out of the traditional cat cow, see if you can start to rock slightly back as you round and maybe more to the front as you arch. So just imagine that you're in, let's say water. Think of like the ocean. As if you were making waves and just finding what feels good here of the wrists at the same time, feeling the stretch in the hips, in the shoulders as you round. Just moving with the breath. So as you inhale, you arch. And as you exhale, round. Just feeling, feel free to play with it a little bit. And coming back to tabletop, flat back, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath. Tuck your toes, take a deep breath in, slightly arch. As you exhale, lift your hips, downward facing dog. So first down dog here again, bend one knee at a time, look sideways, finding what feels good. And coming back to stillness. Again, moving as if you were in water. As you inhale, slowly lift your heels. Come into a plank pose. Exhale, bend your knees, send your hips back, downward facing dog. Again, inhale to lift your heels. Come to plank. As you exhale, bend your knees, send your hips back, downward facing dog. Last time, inhale, lift your heels. Round your low back, middle back, upper back, you're in plank. Exhale, bend your knees, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round your back. Step in between your hands, tap the back knee. Lift your arms up, low lunge, Anjaniyasana. 
Exhale, option to stay or bring your hands on your thigh and to pull on your left wrist. Just find a slight um, side bend here, gentle side bend. You can also keep one hand on your thigh or one hand on the floor. And coming back to center. And as you exhale, extend the right leg, coming into half Hanuman bow to your leg. Again, moving like a wave, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bow, belly, chest, head. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Rebend the, the front leg. Plant your hand, step back. And lift your leg up. Three-legged dog, stack your hips, bend the right leg. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, lifts you up. Left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, round. Step in between your hands, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, hands on your legs or stay up. Grab your right wrist, side bend to the left. Hands on your thigh or on the floor. And breathe here, relaxing the right shoulder. Come up to center. Exhale, extend the left leg, bow to your leg, half Hanuman. Moving with your breath. Inhale, long spine, exhale, bow. One more, inhale, long spine, belly, chest, head. Bend the front leg, plant your hand, tap the back, or lift the back knee, and left leg back, three-legged dog, stack your hips. Come back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. Walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. As you exhale, bow. Rise up, one vertebra at a time. Roll up, come to stand, reach your arms up. Full body stretch. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Bring your hands by your side, coming into a mountain pose here. Again, pressing evenly in the four corners of your feet, sending your tailbone down, crown of your head to the sky. Inhale, sweep your arms up, look up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway. Right away, exhale, step your left leg back, come back into a Low lunge, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Tuck the back toes, coming into a pyramid pose, bow to your right leg. Inhale, lengthen. Walk to the left, coming into a wide leg forward fold. Inhale, hands down, flat back. Bend the left leg, skandasana to the back, hands to your heart. Inhale, come back to center. Bend your knees, hands on your hips, come to a standing. Turn your feet out, coming into a goddess pose. Bend your knees here. You can bring your hands on your thighs. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower the right shoulder. Come back, center, inhale. Exhale, lower the left shoulder. Come back to center. Use the strength of your legs, push yourself up. And as you exhale, rotate the left toes in, right toe out, coming into a warrior two. Slide your upper body to the front, coming into an extended side angle, forearm on your leg, extend the left arm up, creating a line with your left arm and your left leg, pressing in the outer edge of your left foot. And look down to the top of your mat, lower your left hand, walk your right foot out on your outer edge of your mat, coming into a lizard pose. Now you can stay here, hands on your mat. Uh, with your back knee lifted. If you can also lower your back knee, stay on your hands or come on your forearms. And if you want a deeper stretch, stay on your forearms, tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. Again, really finding release with every exhale. See if you can let go of tension in the hips. You can come into the outer blade of your right foot here. And 
slowly wherever you are. Tap your knee, come back up on your hands. Keeping the back toes uh, tuck. Slowly start to shift your weight back and forth. And come to step your left foot on the outer edge of your mat. So coming into a yogi squat here, Malasana. Bring your hands at your heart center. Now here, see if you can actively draw the shoulder blades together. Press your elbows inside your thighs. Humble your chin down, keeping the back of the neck long. Now use your legs. Push yourself back up, come to a standing posture. Reach your arms up, walk your feet together, big toe stretch. Coming back, mountain pose. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale to bow. Inhale, halfway. Plant your hands, step the right leg back, low lunge. Inhale, arms up. One breath. Exhale, hands down. Tuck the back leg closer, pyramid pose. Inhale, lengthen. Walk your hands to the right, wide leg forward fold. Bend the, the right leg, skandasana to the back, hands to your heart. Come back to center, hands on your hips. Come on up, goddess pose, bend your knees. Toes turn out, hands on your thighs. Inhale, center. And exhale, lower the left shoulder this time. Just opening the hips. Inhale, center. Right shoulder down. Center, inhale. Lift your arms up. Right toes in, left toe out. Warrior two. One breath here. Glide your upper body forward. Left forearm on your leg. Extended side angle. Breathe here, finding. See if you can feel the line of energy coming from the outer edge of your right foot to the top of your fingers, your right hand. Look down, right hand to your mat, walk your left foot out, lizard. Again, finding your lizard here, your choice. You can stay up, come on your forearms, knees down, knee down, or lifted. Just breathing into the left hip. See if you can let go with every exhale. Keeping the right leg active. Keep sending the crown of your head forward and your right heel to the back of the room. And slowly come up. Do little rocks back and forth, and step your right leg to the front. Yogi squat, hands to heart. One breath here, really sinking down into your hips. You can close your eyes. Pressing inside of your thighs with your elbows. And again, stand up. Press your knee, your heels into the floor. Toes come to touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Mountain pose, arms by your side. Come back to your breath here. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, bow to your legs. Halfway up, inhale. Plant your hands, step back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step in between your hands, coming into a high lunge. Bend the back knee. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open, warrior two. Inhale, extend your right leg, both arms up. Pivot your right toes in, hands to your hips. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, wide leg forward fold, bow inside of your legs. Press your hands down, come up flat back, inhale. Skandasana to the back, bend the left leg, this time coming into a little bit of a deeper skandasana. See if you can bring your hands to your heart. Left arm behind you, open your right arm up. Come back, hands to your heart. Now use the strength of your legs, push yourself back up, coming to the front of your mat, extended side angle, reaching the left arm up. 
Lower your left hand down, tap the back knee, low lunge. As you exhale, half Hanuman, bow to your right leg. Now you have the option to stay here for a few breaths, keeping your uh, toes flexed towards your face, lifting your kneecap, so protecting your knee here. Or option to slowly slide into full Hanumanasana, full split. Now if you have blocks, you can always place your hands on blocks. Just think of um, releasing with every exhale. Slowly, as you let go of tension in the body, see if you can let go of expectations in the mind. Remembering that the goal of yoga is not to do a full split. But it really is to move mindfully, connect with your breath and with your body. You can also bow to your leg here. If you're in half Hanuman or in a split. Wherever you are, slowly come back up, bend the front leg. Tuck the back toes, step back in a plank. Bend your knees, send your hips back. Let's meet in a child's pose. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, melt your hips down, relax your shoulders, relax your forehead. Reconnect with your breath, hear your breath. Next inhale, press your hands down, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step in between your hands, high lunge. One breath here, bend the back knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, arms up, extend the left leg. Exhale, pivot your um, left foot in. Inhale, arms by your sides. This time interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift your heart, hands down. And exhale, wide leg forward fold, bow inside your legs. Keep lifting your hands toward the ceiling here and not collapse in the shoulders. Activate your legs here, press in the outer edge of both feet. Keep lifting your sits bones to the ceiling. Slowly release your hands down, bend the right knee, skandasana to the back, hands come to your heart center. Open up, right hand down, left arm up. Hands back to your heart, use the strength of your legs, push yourself up to the front of your mat, extended side angle. Right arm reaches up. Now look down, hand, right hand down, tap the back knee, anjaniasana, low lunge. You exhale, half Hanuman, extend the left leg. Moving with your breath. Now again, option to stay here or slowly slide your left leg forward, coming into a full split, half, um, full Hanumanasana. Again, connecting with your breath. See if you can release, and go a little bit deeper into the pose with every exhale bowing to your left leg wherever you are. And slowly come on up, bending the left leg, tug the back toes, step back, plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, walk or jump.
inhale halfway bow exhale open your feet as wide as your hips coming into a forward fold here you can bend your knees generously and stay here or grab your big toes with your peace fingers pull on your toes or come and bring the palms of your hands underneath your feet and slightly bend your knees here So if your hands are underneath your um, feet, you can slightly crunch your toes and give your wrists a little massage. Just making sure you relax the weight of your head. And slightly lift your elbows away from your ears. Come back, release <laughs> your hands, bend your knees, and roll up, come back to standing. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to height. Keep moving with the breath. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway. Plant your hands, step back. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee, stack your hips. Now let your right knee lead the way, bringing your right knee to your left elbow. So twist here, engage your core. Extend your right leg, coming into a fallen triangle. Lift your hips up, lift your left arm up. Now keep lowering your hips, stay exactly as you are and come to sit on the mat. Oh, slowly, you can stay here or walk your hands in front of you. And bow inside of your legs. Again, letting go of tension in the hips, any expectations in the mind. Just notice how it feels. And see if you can move mindfully. And with compassion towards your body. And slowly push yourself up, bend the right leg. Right foot inside your left thigh, frame the left leg. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, Janusrasana, bow to your left leg. Inhale, come on up, right hand behind you. And as you inhale, lift your hips, lift your heart, arch your back, joy pose. Now from here, pivot on your left foot. Keep reaching your left arm forward. Come on a plank on your left side. You can keep your right leg as it is in a variation of a side plank or grab your big toes with your big fingers and lift your right leg up. And keep breathing here. Slowly let go of your leg. Coming back into a plank. Option to take a flow. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips. Letting your left knee guide the way. Left knee to your right elbow. Twist, extend your left leg, fall in triangle, lift your hips. Reach your right arm forward. And slowly sit down onto your mat. Like option, here you have the option to keep your legs open or come back into butterfly, bringing the soles of your feet together bow towards your feet. Again, you can press with your elbows on your knees for a deeper stretch. And slowly come up, bringing your left foot inside of your right thigh. 
frame your right leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bow to your right leg. Keeping your um, right toes flexed towards your face. Again, see if you can move with the breath. And if you're still up, doing gentle waves with your body, lengthening the spine with every inhale. See if you can relax and go a little bit deeper with every exhale. So it doesn't have to be big movement. It can be really subtle here. And slowly come up, left hand behind you. Inhale, lift your hips. Lift your right arm up, joy pose. Exhale, keep reaching your right arm. Bring your right arm to the top of your mat. Pivot on your right foot. Modify it. side plank. Stay or grab your left big toe with your peace finger. Lift your left leg up. Find your focus here. Breathe. Slowly let go of your leg. Coming back in a plank. This time, exhale slowly, bend the elbows, come all the way to your belly. Hands interlace behind your back. Inhale, lift your heart, squeeze your legs together, lift your legs off the mat. Breathe. Think of lengthening crown of the head forward, toes towards the back of the room. And as you exhale, release right ear on the mat. You can shake your legs here. Coming back to forehead on the mat, bend both knees. Grab the outside of your feet. As you inhale, kick your feet into your hands. Lift your upper body up. Slowly release, left ear on the mat this time. Just one breath, hands beside your rib cage, push yourself back, let's meet in a child's pose. Again, deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, hear your breath, melt your hips down, relax your shoulders. Slowly come on up, come to sit on your heels. Let your hips fall on one side, extend your legs in front of you. Coming into a twist, so right foot outside of your left thigh. Right arm behind you, inhale, lift the left arm up. And as you exhale, twist to the right. Inhale to lengthen the spine, and as you exhale, gaze over your right shoulder. Gentle counter twist to the left. Other side, left foot outside of your right thigh. Left arm behind you, inhale, reach up. And exhale, twist to the left. And with every breath, lengthen the spine. Send the crown of your head to the ceiling. And as you exhale, gently twist. Again, remember not to force the neck here. The twist really comes from your belly. Slowly release, keep your legs as they are. Bend the right leg, coming into Gomukhasana, cow pose. Um, so making sure both um, knees are on, in the same line on top of each other. Now if uh, isn't comfortable for you, you can also just do a, a double pigeon. So um, bringing your ankles in line with your knees. Um, if you're doing Gomukhasana, cow pose, knees in line with each other, bring your hands on the soles of your feet, humble your chin, tuck your chin down, engage your uh, root locks, bring your navel to your spine, and slowly press down into your feet as you lift the crown of your head to the ceiling. You have the option to slowly bow towards your legs. And if you want to do the full pose, Right arm up, left arm behind you, grabbing your hands behind your back. And 
slowly come on up. If you're um, in cow pose, just keep your legs exactly as they are. Turn your body towards the right. Keep your feet where they are. Just bring weight into your feet. Keep turning, keep turning. And you're on the other side. So left, and uh, right and knee is on top of the left. It's called dancing cow. Uh, so bring your hands on the soles of your feet. Again, engaging your core here, chin to your chest. Press your hands into your feet. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. As you exhale, slowly bow to your legs. If you want to do the bind, it's left arm up. And if you're in double pigeon, do the exact same thing you did on the other side. Slowly come up to standing and cross your legs, bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug. You can also slowly extend your legs, shake them out a little bit. Um, and we'll, so we'll finish with a quick pranayama breathing exercise called um, lion's breath. Um, so this uh, Breathing exercise is really good to release all the tension in the muscles of your face and the jaw muscle. Uh, it's really good if you suffer from TMG and you tend to clench your teeth when you sleep um, or just in every day in general. Uh, um, it's just really good to yeah, release tension here and to let go of um, tension in the body. So with this theme of releasing and letting go, uh, this exercise um, requires you to let go of what you look like uh, when you're doing it, and it requires a little bit of silliness. Um, so it's called Lion's Breath because as you exhale, all you have to do is open your mouth really wide and stick your tongue down and out towards your chin as you lift your gaze up to the middle of your eyebrow or your third eye. So really, it looks like this. So you open your mouth, simultaneously stick your tongue down and lift your, eyebrow, your eyes. So we'll um, do this only five times. Uh, just again, reminder that I can't see you at home. So see if you can just go for it. And as you exhale, let go of something that does not serve you um, today or right here, right now. Come to a comfortable seat. You can cross your legs or also sit on your heels. Um, bring your hands in front of you, fingers towards your body. So gently stretching the forearms at the same time. So taking a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, lion's breath. Four more times, inhale. Exhale, stick your tongue down. Three more times, you got this, inhale. Just go for it, exhale. Lift your gaze, two more. Exhale, release. Last one, best one. And release. Bring your hands on your thighs, close your eyes, and just notice how you feel. And notice if you feel the blood flowing through your face, through the muscles of your jaw. on one side, extend your legs in front of you, coming into our final posture, Shavasana. Come to lay down on your back. Now for this Shavasana, um, just make sure you're comfortable. So I know we tend to keep our arms by our sides, but if you wish to maybe open your legs a little bit wider than your mat, maybe open your arms a little bit more to the side or even above your head. Feel free to do what feels right. And notice how it feels when the body is completely free and relaxed. Again, sending your awareness 
to your hips, letting go of any tension to your jaw, letting go of any tension, see if you can unclench your teeth, slightly open your mouth. this idea of releasing and letting go of things that um, do not serve us. We can also ask ourselves, what is it that we are letting in? On your next inhale, inhale joy. Exhale, joy. Inhale, peace in every cells of your body. And exhale, peace. Inhale, trust. Exhale, trust. Most importantly, inhale love and exhale love. And now just notice how you feel. physical body and notice your breath and start to move your toes your fingers just taking your time maybe moving your ankles your wrists Stretch your body however you wish to do so. Maybe sideways, maybe your arms above your head. Just, just waking up gently. And slowly roll on to your right side. And staying for a breath here. seat of your choice, and bringing your palms together at your heart center, thumbs gently pressing against your chest, thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy, be well.